as it was, as it is clear from the title of this uh, workshop that it uh, investigates uh, the pedagogy or the teaching methods of uh, debate. What are what is the purpose of this workshop? Two years before I provide the training in Al Jazeera Kids Channel for one year, I taught the kids on debate. And uh, there was a good or a valuable uh, opportunity for me to train the students on debate. And I have acquired an excellent, uh, an outstanding experience in teaching debate. And when I saw the advertisement for the international conference, I decided to participate into this conference so that I could uh, share my experience in uh, training and in teaching and also to commit myself uh, to present this experience to those who are interested. So that was the purpose. Uh, so I have acquired or accumulated uh, good experiences. I was afraid to lose it. Uh, but when I saw this uh, announcement for the conference, I decided to participate. Uh, so that was uh, the main reason that uh, uh, motivated me to uh, present this workshop. And as uh, usual, the objectives of this workshop the first uh, objective to, uh, to define uh, debate and what is related to. The f second thing, how do we choose the topic of debate? The third reason, how do we develop uh, or prepare the debate? The fourth uh, uh, objective, evaluate the debate and then the feedback. So let us now go briefly over the objectives. And we start with the definition of debate. Through uh, studies and literature, I try to explore, investigate everything that is related to this topic uh, so that I can share it with you. The definition of debate in language and its beginnings, the reasons of debates, and uh, giving examples about the most uh, important debates and histories and the most prominent debaters. And I will start uh, with the definition of debate. Uh, the de debate in language means the word debate uh, is derived from uh, the Arabic word see or uh, and then it developed to the peer, which is something that uh, and then uh, and then this word has developed to the current uh, uh, definition, which is uh, the conversation or the repeat. And the two people are going the same topic. Each one has a claim, and the other one tries to review this claim or to prove him wrong. And this is uh, uh, if we have, for example, a, a theme or a, a, an idea, like the Palestinian, uh, for example, they have uh, two conflicted parties, and one of them claim uh, to have the right. So they ha we have a case, we have an issue, and we have two parties, uh, conflicted parties. They are going uh, to have the right of the issue. Also, the terminology of debates, we need to uh, uh, introduce the terminology of debates as in English language as in English language there are many synonyms for debate there's debate there's argument there's uh, discussions there is uh, negotiation there's argumentation and there's a, uh, a questioning these are all terminologies that are revolve around the meaning of uh, debate Now we go back to the beginning of debate. The debate from, and a concept debate was 
there even before the humanity start and the Holy Quran has recorded the first debate that took place between God Almighty and uh, the angels where God in the Quran uh, the uh, God Almighty told the angels that he will create the humans and there's a dialogue of course but uh, so there's in the Holy Quran a dialogue or a debate between God and the angels. And when God told them, I will create a human, the angels responded, are you going to create humans that who will corrupt the earth? And also there's another uh, uh, di uh, di uh, di uh, dialogue or uh, uh, between uh, the devil and God. God has not, uh, did not uh, uh, give the uh, devil the opportunity to, to, to to debate. God Almighty uh, asked uh, the devil why you refused to accept what I created uh, and the devil responded that how can I uh, uh, how can I accept this to create a human to give them a higher status while they are made from uh, soil and I was made of fire. So the legal foundation of debate is a bit uh, uh, difficult and I found some problems to but historically, the debate started in Greek, in Greece, with the, all this philosophy going on, and with Aristotle and uh, Plato, uh, the, and also from our Islamic history. Also, this emerged in the Abbasid uh, uh, era, where there were uh, democracy and uh, knowledge was spread in this uh, era, the Abbasid, and also. It has started with the, with the art of speech, with uh, pu public speaking. As you know that uh, philosophy, uh, the word of speech defended the, the text. So the, the scientists or the scholar of uh, speech were more stronger than philosophers. And Abu Shaq al-Nadam was one of the most prominent. And also uh, in the uh, modern uh, uh, times, if we want to uh, document the debates. I think we should start with the presidency uh, uh, campaign debate uh, because these debates are of uh, you big and uh, uh, later on I will discuss uh, this uh, these debates uh, the president uh, uh, presidency uh, campaigns. What are the reasons for debate? What are the reasons of debate? There are several reasons and uh, any reason could be uh, and my suggestion, the debate for them and the main reason to solve uh, problems, the uh, uh, debate uh, uh, emphasized the principles of dialogue and also persuasion. One of the reasons of debate is persuasion, to pursue each other, and also the influence the public opinion. The, de the debate influence uh, uh, the public opinion. If you are right, you may uh, 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 affect the public opinion. And also, the debate is an intelligence choice for intellectual and uh, those who have uh, uh, good opinions. And uh, mo most importantly, the debate is an expression for freedom and democracy. Wherever democracy, wherever debate exists, there is uh, freedom and there is democracy because debate is an expression uh, of, on uh, freedom. So wherever there is there is debate, there is democracy, and there is freedom. Now we give examples about the most famous debates in the history. Of course, we, the Arabs, have, uh, in, uh, before Islam, we, have, uh, we had Suq Uqad, or Uqad. And this uh, market, uh, or this tribune, uh, was a place for poetry uh, uh, debates and also El Mirbid in, uh, in Basra in uh, Iraq and also that uh, was a tribune for poets uh, to uh, debate in, in, po in po poems and there was so uh, there was Al Jarir Wal Farzakh were the most prominent uh, po poets uh, and they used to debate all the time in this uh, market and also there's a one of the most uh, famous uh, historical uh, uh, place, uh, which is the debate uh, between Siba Wei, one of the, the uh, 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 founder of one of the linguistics uh, uh, schools, and also Al-Kisai, also, who is a semantic uh, 
uh, a scholar and Sebawe, it, it was, it was, it's been said that Sebawe died after this debate uh, because maybe he, uh, it has been said that he was uh, deceived and uh, that deceived. But maybe Sebawe was. Uh, and has an, some kind of arrogance, some kind of uh, so when he or over proud. So and he was a public speaker. And when he heard one of the te one of his the teachers said that uh, one of his teachers said that I can uh, uh, beat any of uh, my students except for Abu Darda, but absolutely we disagreed with him, and I told him. And then uh, he ma learned this uh, art, and he became most, m more important than his master or his teacher. And also, there's another debate that took place between Abu Abi Tamam, uh, uh, friends, uh, and Al-Buhtari friends, and Al-Amidi, uh, who wrote a book. He was an arbitrator in this uh, 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 debate and uh, his uh, judgment was uh, a subjective one or based on reason. The most uh, uh, prominent debaters in the, in the modern time I have searched about the most prominent and most famous debaters and I found that Sheikh Ahmed Didat is the most sophisticated and most important debater. And I tried to uh, listen to all his uh, footages and videos on the internet, on the YouTube uh, from Ahmad Didi and Fadidat, and I found that he has uh, an amazing presence in debates. Uh, he can impress anyone, and he can uh, uh, overcome or he can answer the most difficult questions directed to him, or although he was an, uh, rather li an old guy, an old man, but he was so intelligent, and he can debate smoothly and with an ease. I will now display to you, and of course, uh, there is, if you uh, follow the, uh, I will give you a briefing about uh, the, some of the uh, information about this uh, man. He was born in India. He started as a driver and then as a clerk and then the uh, head of the factory. And if you uh, look for him or search for him, his name was, his name is the debater, the an international debater. I just want to to give you, uh, to, to complete the picture about uh, uh, this is this debater, I will now show you a footage about uh, uh, a small video about uh, 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 Ahmad Didat. He went to Australia on Friday, which called the Great Friday. And in that day, he, uh, I'm going to show you uh, this quick uh, video. So for the first time in my life, I had the experience of coming to your great country, and I enjoyed your hospitality. I'm grateful to your, to your government for granting me a visa, and the people that they have, they have responded to me in every way, making life easy for me. I can never thank them enough, and I praise God that no The video is in English language, and of a poor quality, poor video quality, poor sound quality. When I, in the, in, in, in the uh, Middle Ages, in Europe, they used to say, see Venus and die, meaning that's the acme, the greatest thing that you can see is Venus, you know, the city on the waters, the waterways, it's Venus, in Italy I think it is, Venus, Venus, so see Venus and die. Now I can go back to my country and tell my people, see Sydney and die. No. no, this is not just to flatter you, my brothers and sisters. 
by God, that's not my intention. I have seen something. Note that note that he used uh, see Venice and die. Then and he said see Sydney and die. See how he used and uh, uh, this is strong. Uh, emotions uh, that to, Im to, uh, to, uh, to influence the, the, the speakers. There are other videos, but if we have enough time, I will show, show, show it to you. Now I will uh, move to the American presidency debates. Uh, note that, ladies and gentlemen, that in the American presidency elections 2002, not the uh, min numbers, now the figures and what this, this, these figures mean, these are people who uh, sh watched the American debates. Uh, the first debate, 67 million people. The second debate, 65.6 million people. The third debate was 59.2 million people. It has it was said that in the uh, third debate there was a baseball uh, a baseball match, and this it reduced the number uh, 8 million people. This is why the figure is less in debate three. However, in 2008 election, 69.9 million people, and in the election of 1988, million American people watched the debate. What does these uh, figures mean? What does it reflect? From my point of view, that means that the debate it plays a major role in uh, uh, an American people life. Uh, and as you all know that the American the debates in America has started since Abraham Lincoln in 18, uh, 1885. And I took these figures from uh, following up uh, the American uh, elections just to prove that the debates play an important role uh, in uh, changing opinion. And uh, but they say that it does not play a critical role in changing uh, uh, constituents' opinion. However, in the past, it did play that critical role in the elections, American elections in specific. And now we come to the important, uh, most important topic. How do we choose the uh, uh, the subject of debate? And uh, when I say how to choose the subject of debate, here we now my role comes as an educator. I am an educator. I work in the education field. So when I say how to choose the topics of debate or subject of debates, it's quite necessary when choosing the subject of debate that these uh, subjects should be linked with the goals we are going to debate for. So what is the general uh, 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 objective that we want to achieve? and? Uh, there's, of course, a goal, educational, uh, an advanced educational skills, uh, practical skills, and also uh, instill the values and uh, principles and ethics and uh, literature of uh, culture, freedom, and democracy, all of which uh, should uh, be uh, directed to the students. From my own experience in debating, you may read a book and then learn skills, small, simple skills. However, when you go into debate, you acquire unlimited skills, many skills. So through my experience, I have uh, noted when I was a trainer in debates, I have 
noted these uh, uh, benefits of debate, uh, self-learning, speech, uh, uh, body language skill, dialogue, analyzing the topics, critical uh, uh, thinking, uh, courageous uh, uh, research skills, listening and uh, skill, uh, respecting the others, self-confidence, uh, linguistic skills, uh, critical th thinking uh, skills, uh, co comparison skill between things to compare skills, and evaluation skill. All are from the objectives that make us or the goals that make us give an interest or care or, 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 or care or, or with the uh, debate. And also, is there a limit for debates? Is there a restriction for debate? Again, as an educator, yes, there should be some kind of uh, 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 constraint for debate. We need to uh, put an end to debate. We should not uh, choose uh, a subject for debate. For example, in the West, in the United States of America, there, there are no boundaries for debate, no restriction. You may choose any topic with, and nobody can comment on that uh, cho the chosen subject. Why is that? Because the principles of life in the West, in, the, in America, in Europe, is uh, based on liberty and freedom. Everything is allowed. Everything is a subject of debate, and we can discuss with it. There is nothing uh, no forbidden, uh, prohibited, not prohibited. No, but in our community, in our culture, it's different. Uh, we cannot discuss anything. We cannot present any topics for debate. Uh, for example. We cannot say that the end justify the means. This is Machiavelli principle, the end justify the mean. In, in our, in Islam, in our religious, our great religious, we say the end justify the mean. If you, for example, if I want to, to uh, make money, I can take any mean to make money. However, in our Islamic Sharia, in our religious, no. The mean you need to achieve your goal should be allowed, should be uh, compatible with Islamic uh, Sharia. If the mean was not uh, in contradiction with Islamic Sharia, so all your job, all your work is haram and allowed, prohibited by Islam. So before we present any uh, topic for debate, we need to study this topic uh, because our Arab, our Islamic culture, we need to make sure that these debates are prohibited. There are so many debates in the West uh, that we cannot uh, we cannot present uh, present them to our uh, culture because we raise our uh, kids on principles and on uh, and some of the debates in the uh, in the West uh, are contradicting with these principles. Also, any topic of debate, any topic of debate should be clear with with the two conflicting parties aware of the subject a clear deep so the topic should be deep the two parties are clear about the the, the topic of uh, debate and the, 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 when we discuss a topic uh, for example, women in Qatar or this group of people, uh, there should be an interest in this group of people. Does this debate, for example, uh, uh, discuss uh, a group of people or debate uh, a small group of people or all the people when we debate about school? Are we debating about uh, education in the world or only education in, in Qatari school, for example? The quality of the topic of uh, debating, again, some topic. Uh, uh, this topic might have uh, two different opinions or uh, two, uh, for example, the fast food, uh, some uh, with uh, fast food, other ag ag against the fast food, one topic, two parties. For example, is, is the e-book, electronic book, 
or that's the e-book will uh, will take over the printed books. This is a different case, different topic. And there might be also some uh, compli complicated uh, topics, for example, uh, animal experimentation on animals. And also this might be discussed from different uh, uh, aspects, from different uh, uh, and that might require more, more than many, many debaters. We may discuss it from ethical point of view. We may we discuss it from uh, a de developmental uh, point of view. Uh, for example, that these experiments uh, enhance uh, uh, scientific research or not. This is an example. Uh, the success of uh, the debate. How do we measure the success of debate? It can be measured on uh, its uh, uh, impacts. Uh, on its influence, on what uh, does these uh, debates achieve? Did, did it uh, influence the people? Did it have an impact on people? For example, if there are issues, for example, I one time watched uh, the contradicting uh, 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 opinions on Al Jazeera, and they were discussing smoking. Smoking was a predetermined uh, issue. The, these are things that we have already made decisions about, agreed about, uh, and smoking is, 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 uh, is uh, uh, unhealthy. And you can't find anyone who can support uh, or defend the smoking. So we don't need to uh, debate on such topic. And now we come to uh, another topic on how to prepare <laughs> Uh, for the debate. Uh, the first phase, which is uh, the training, a uh, theoretical training, where we uh, choose the tools of debates, uh, the graphic organizers. Of course, the tools of debate should be, should be, uh, 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 the, the debater should know the, the, the tools, and, and also the debater and the trainer, they should live the, 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 the issue that they want to debate on. And then he need to extensively read about the, the topic of debate and then in, 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 uh, inquire and research and conduct a research to establish a database about the topic of debate. But, but through internet now we can we can find every information, all information about any topic. <laughs> and also uh, looking for proofs, uh, evidence, uh, uh, opinions, uh, um, articles in newspaper, uh, foreign and local, uh, interviews, uh, 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 consultation from specialized people if we want to deliver an important debate, a scientific debate. We should do all these, also a questionnaire, a real a questionnaire, also statistics, pictures, caricatures, videos, and also uh, uh, stories, uh, 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 so something from the folklore. Everything can fall into uh, the debates, can be used in the debates. <coughs> Graphic organizer, we have tools for research. We have thinking, thinking of the issue or the cause, then research. Then we have some theoretical and some practical evidence. The uh, theoretical include the library, the internet, proverbs, uh, anecdotes, stories, and so on. As for the practical, you can have interviews, you have statistics, you have caricature, and also video clips, and also some consultancies so that the debater can defend his or her uh, idea. This is another chart or, or graphic a graph. This is a research paper for debates. The idea I'm trying to prove here is, as you know, such as the, those students uh, uh, studying for the MA master program. Normally they have a card whenever they want or wish to search into some uh, issue. They normally hold some papers or some cards and then they can look for the information needed. Such information should be documented. And also he can start or she can start, the debater can start uh, telling, telling such information. The first stage, oh, 
in preparing for uh, the or organizing the debate, how to select the introductory uh, expressions and as I have said, there are some talented people actually in debate and they use good style or stylistics in proposing and in delivering his idea and uh, uh, I use an attractive style too. In uh, language we see that the, when you s the first look is the first impression. For example, once ago when I listened to Ahmed uh, uh, that said see Sydney and die, this is a touching sentence. This attracts me to follow up on what Ahmed Dad was going to say in his debate. And this also go, uh, gives some stimulus and intrigue. So a debater has to uh, be conversant with some linguistic texts and also on some touching and influential styles. In the conclusion, there should be a good intensive uh, abstract and so on. The next phase is the practical training. For example, if we have three students and I want to train them on debate, and at the same time I have a, a topic of different aspects, who to choose from them? I will distribute roles upon them. Who of them should start the debate? Who should be in the middle and who should finish the debate? So this is an uh, important aspect in training. And also we have to try or to attempt to anticipate the opponent's idea or proof. For example, uh, in sports, let's uh, suppose or assume that I have not practiced sports. If I don't do that, what will happen to me? The third stage or phase is to have an experiment, practical experiment, or a rehearsal, so as to get sure that the debate, debaters have already acquired the skills of debate. This is a sketch for preparing or organizing a debate. Our major idea depends on so and so and so, the following reasons. Then each reason I have to find some evidence and so on. Another type is the, the comparison between two ideas here or the opposite of the idea that I am defending. For example, if you want to compare uh, regarding the topic of women in work. This, for example, this is an image, or these are images, women begging in the streets, which is better actually for the general idea of women and work. Some, of course, oppose to that. They reject the woman to work. Now, you look, which is better, these images of women begging or this woman sitting next or uh, before a computer and working and gaining her salary. So when you want to prove to others that the work of women is important, then such an image is useful and could be refuting the uh, opponent idea. Of course, the woman is prepared to work in office, not to be a bigger in the streets. Now, why should a woman accept to be a bigger in the street? Now, if we look at such images, why we normally don't care, we see that this is a normal image. But why you, the man who opposes a woman to work, why don't you reject these images of women begging? This is for preparation for the debate. Now, the practical training, normally when we teach or train the student or as a debater, 
طبعا We focus on two main points. We have the ideas, the introductory, including the introductory sentences to be strong and attractive, and also to uh, propose your uh, point of view. Normally, in the beginning, this, the main idea should be in the, in the first line, on the first sentence of the debate. In the first sentence, yes. If your uh, idea is vague or unclear, then you cannot succeed very well. After that, you have to give evidence and proofs and also to diversify such evidence. And then you have to look for or to anticipate the counter proof by the opponent or the other debaters. For example, the work of women. If a woman does not work, what will happen to her? Will she go begging in the streets, for example? And when you discuss any topic, you have to imagine what would happen if the, th of the, th of the things that you see would uh, 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 were not there. And also you have to follow different stylistics and different argumentation styles in lang of language. Conditional mode actually is so much successful in debates. For example, for example, if there were no beauty, then men and women would stay or keep living in caves. That's why people for time, for a long time now, have been beautifying their houses. Then the conclusion and result. As for performance now, there are people on debates, as I have myself witnessed, when I looked for a distinguished debater, to be a, an example like Ahmed did that, he has strength in performance. And as I've said, he was able in another video clip, presence, presence uh, in your debate is important. It was said that uh, for a late, uh, uh, President Nixon failed in the first presidency candidacy because in the first debate uh, uh, he uh, appeared poor and uh, he had a black suit uh, and so on. So the appearance and presence of Nixon played negatively on the, re on the result of that debate. As they say, beautiful object in increases and fosters beauty of the holder. So when you are well trained, you, when you read well at the same time, you have to appear also very well in your uh, 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 clothes. Uh, what you wear also should be matching to what you have in your mind. Interaction, interaction is important. Uh, you have to be interactive. Sometimes people speak as if they were reading. No, you have to speak with emotions, with intonation, with euphony. Uh, <coughs> Once a time I was praying after a sheikh, a late sheikh, and when he read some verses on Abraham, he read out some verses, he read that verse differently. He read that verse as if the verse were a question, but it was actually a statement, because he increased the tense of intonation he, instead of saying, that was my God, he said, that was my God, 
as if he was asking, actually. So euphony here is important. The complexion of the face, the movements of the hand also, they should be in harmony with a good rhythm with what you are speaking. This would be influential and have an impact, an impact. Also, visual communication all play an important role during the debate and training, of course, before that. <coughs> there are some parameters for assessment of the debate. We can have a score if, if we wish, wish for such a debate. For example, uh, how was the first introductory uh, speech, evidence, diversification, the uh, opposite idea, using using the diversified uh, stylistics and uh, of argumentation, uh, euphony and intonation, strength of performance, enthusiasm, interaction, uh, visual uh, communication and, and interaction, body language and the conclusion. Of course, for example, in the, on the screen, do you, are you pro uh, 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 the snacks, for example? Are you for snacks or against snacks? First, we can divide students into two groups, one supporting and one against. Then we can start. Each student can give us the reasons why he is supporting having snacks. And then we can provide such students with some forms or cards. Let us say they are in the intermediary uh, stage. We can ask them to refer to some resources for such search. For example, and also for the people or the category which is against, we can provide them with uh, some uh, introductory ideas and they can complete such ideas. They can say, I am against snacks because of so and so and so. For example, because we are not familiar with such uh, snacks. So they are not according to our norms and according to our habits. And also, in terms of health, we can send some students to the health medical centers and can provide us with some statistics on how many people were uh, poisoned by such snacks or such food stuff. And also socially, there's difference between sitting next to your to the members of your family on one table and between uh, sitting alone at restaurant. Also, this proximity, this proximity I forgot to, to talk about. As a matter of fact, educational-wise, you can never, never propose two opposing ideas and you can then at the end of the day keep silent. So you have to follow an approach to judge, to adjudicate the result. For example, we cannot say that we have this cause and discuss this cause and debate over this cause or this issue and we just keep silent and the, at the end of the debate without having adjudication for which idea was more uh, acceptable or was stronger. So there's no an open end actually for some causes. For example, 
uh, some complicated issues. Sure, uh, might be like that, but normally we should not follow that uh, in Libya. When I watch the opposite direction show at Al Jazeera TV, my children ask me normally, who are you supporting? Which debater, which guest are you supporting here in this show? I tell them, well, try, my, my children, try to listen to the opinion first or their views, then you can judge. He or they say, no, we cannot uh, do that. Because when you have two points or two ideas, without having an approach or adjudication to say which is more favorable or which one to support of such two ideas. Is the e or electronic book better than the hard copy or the paper book? Here we can again divide the students uh, uh, into two categories. One can follow on supporting the e-book, and one can support the paper book. For example, supporters of the e-book can say, yes, it is cheaper, it is easy to search, and you can download hundreds of books, and you can circulate that. And then we can say that our adju adjudication uh, says that, uh, yes, e-book is better than paper book, because at the end of the day, also searches will be more than, so e-book is on the top, and it can replace the paper book. These are the supporters of the e-book. As for the paper book supporters, they say, yes, we have the introduction to that, and then, uh, they say there are some good advantages of the for the uh, paper book because it is it was the first book that appeared in our life and it is not easy to compensate uh, or to replace such a book. We have poets and authors and men of literature who were uh, praising that book as Al Mutanabbi, the Arab poet who said that the best friend in life is a book. And also the printed book is the best traditional means of method for teaching at schools and at uh, universities. And the e-book can no way replace this paper book because we can provide a paper book to every student while, while we cannot pro provide a PC or computer laptop to every student. And also, the paper book is uh, better because it includes uh, the Quran, the holy book of Muslims, within or between the two covers. And also, there are other reasons, and there's approach to be followed. So, that is what I wanted to say in general, in this. For example, here, if I have something written, importance of uh, sports in our life, uh, I used conditional. If there were no sports, then man would not be able to uh, achieve his uh, work. And also I used the style of uh, proverbs here or uh, sayings. They say that, uh, for example, uh, good, I mean, yeah, I diversified styles. And also you can use negation. Negation, for example, no nation can play the role, its role if it is weak with it, from within. So I, I used conditional mode and I used the negation style. 
لا تستطيع أمة أن تؤدي دورها إذا كانت نيتها الاقتصادية هزيلة Then I can also use uh, interrogation uh, mode. For example, do you know the importance of sports in our life? That's when you are go, uh, talking to some people or some audience. Then you use uh, uh, some uh, examples and also comparison style. For example, on the contrary, those who don't practice sports have weak bodies and normally are passive and lazy, and normally they are unable to perform their uh, daily duties. So note here how we can write a debate topic or uh, 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 issue through a well-organized plan and a good certain style. في هذا القدر كفاية أريد أن أريد أن أشاهدكم أو أريد أن أشاهدكم فيديو كليب باي أحمد ديدات أجين نوت وين ذا بيرسون بفور يو أو فيسينج يو إز أسكين كوستشن وايل He or she is ignoring a question to embarrass the other debater. This is a video clip again. This is for Ahmed Didat. A woman asking, a woman asking here. We can, I cannot hear the video. I, I cannot hear the, the video clip. Here, yeah, the question was asked by, by, by that lady was uh, asking about, uh, is it necessary for a woman to put the veil on her head? The debater, Ahmad Didat, refuted her and said, well, this is written in your book, the Christian book, when Paul said, if the woman has no veil on her head, her hair should be cut. Yes, Ahmad Didat, the debater, the great pain and famous uh, uh, debater answered her and refuted her. So sometimes some questions are asked uh, wi without knowing what they are asking about. Of course, Ahmad Didat, as a professional debater, should be able to refute and to answer back on such questions. There's another clip in the old testament he was taught that eye by eye in the old testament it was thought that etc etc we brought up jesus came again from we all of these things which you might know and a video clip but let me interrupt a minute interrupt your sister a minute and ask you one question he said you said that you believe in god this God has character. He knows the future. He knows the past. He knows the present. He doesn't change his mind. Do you agree? I go on. Jesus came, and I'm quite sure that 
What I'm saying here, you find in any of these books, and you might find it in Quran too. Jesus came and taught us, if one slaps you on the right cheek, give him the left one, sympathy, mercy, no violence, love, charity. He taught us, if one asks you to go a mile with him, go two. If he asks you a coat, give him your best. When he asked his disciples, uh, Larry, to go and preach in the world, he told them, go and preach my word in peace, no violence. If they accept your word, take it. If they don't take it, go and go on. Why after five, no, sorry, six hundred years, the God who you believe, and I do, how he changed his mind again? He tells me, the one who hits you, hit him again. Go and preach in my name. And if they don't accept my name and my word, kill them. If your wife miss, if your wife does unfaithful to you, kill her. Kill, punish, kill, punish, hate, hate, hate. Thank you. He sir. raised me up. Welcome. Why you take me very much down again? Sir, your question is clear. Thank you. Silence, please. Thank you. Well, just some more hot steam. The brother said, Islam said, the teaching of Jesus was turning the other cheek. If a man takes away your coat, give him your cloak also. Agree with thine adversary quickly, Jesus said. Before they take you before the magistrate and make you to pass with your last farthing. But now you said God doesn't change his mind. But he had given you a law, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You are a Christian today. From your question, I make out you are a Christian. Right. But now God changed his mind. Will he change his mind? First was eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Now he's telling him, you resist not evil. When a man hits you on the right cheek, give him the other. He changed his mind. He changed his mind according to your Bible. Wait a minute. And then again, he told you, God told you, that whosoever puts away his wife, let him give her a bill of divorcement. But Jesus said, but I say unto you, whosoever puts away his wife, save for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. And whosoever marries her that is divorced committed adultery. He changed his mind again. And he's changing his mind continuously. But you said God doesn't change his mind. Now, you will have the account, or the pastor will have the account for that, not me. When you say make allegation against the Quran, the Quran says that if anybody does not accept Islam, chop up his head, kill him. Here is the Quran, and you have up to 10 o'clock to find that verse and pray to us. I'll read it for the people. Thank you, Mr. Dida. And with that, I do conclude this uh, workshop. I'd like to thank you very much for your good listening and for attendance. If you have any question. Microphone, please. Microphone. Microphone. Peace be upon you. My name is Muhammad from Al Wakra Independent School. I have so many questions uh, and comments on your uh, valuable uh, presentation. However, I know that time is limited, uh, therefore, I'm going to ask only one question. When you talked about the types of debates, what are the standards can, that can be adopted to classify uh, debates so that we can know our way in the future? Yes, uh, when we say it about restrictions for debates, uh, these uh, restrictions, uh, when we choose the topic, but I don't have a standards, but no, yeah, yeah, you talked about types. Yes, I talked about types of debates, but I, 
you, you maybe you mean how do you choose the debate, uh, the uh, theme of debate? No, no, no. I'm talking about the types of debates. No, no. Any debate, we can choose any kind of uh, debate. However, as I said in the beginning, the debate is measured to the extent of benefit that uh, uh, you will present to your or provide to your students. What are the benefits that can we can generate it uh, from the debates? Maybe educators get together, maybe can get together, and then maybe develop a curriculum for debate issues. For example, on how to choose the uh, topic of debate. Uh, there are uh, uh, issues in uh, or uh, uh, education, in politi politics, in uh, medicine. So we may choose in so does this classification, uh, these, these debates are classified according to the target group? To Yes, uh, I talked about how to choose the debate as educators so that we need to choose any theme or topics that suits our principles, our ethics. So if it was in light of this, uh, you may choose any topic of debate, whether literature, whether uh, poetry, whether or introduced a good evidence and his uh, performance was good. Uh, that what we uh, uh, we thank you for your uh, presentation, and uh, we have learned uh, uh, from uh, the practical side in classrooms, but I want to mention or comment on the restrictions of uh, uh, debates, and you have said that you need to uh, choose the topic that is uh, uh, aligned with the uh, old that does not contradict with our uh, values or uh, principles. For example, we, we, we need uh, our uh, 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 students to also to debate on topics that's not from our culture because, you know, our students now, secondary students, but later on they will go maybe uh, to, to foreign countries and they will face these uh, new concepts like girlfriends, boyfriend, like uh, uh, the, the restrictions that, the, the, the themes that they were restricted before they go to these countries. So what are your uh, uh, comments on this? Uh, as an educator, I have a message. I, as an educator, and when I want to teach, I get scared. to bring, for example, let me give you an uh, an, uh, 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 an idea. When uh, Al Jazeera channel uh, talked about uh, these insulting caricatures on uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, uh, one of uh, the uh, interviews that Al Jazeera uh, made, one of the ladies made some, uh, said some inappropriate uh, words or terminology. But me, uh, myself, as an educator, I cannot subject uh, or expose my students uh, to, to, to such uh, unacceptable uh, ethics or be, uh, behaviors or attitudes. So everything should be within ethics, uh, within our principle, our ethics and our principles. Yes. No. As an educator, again, I am uh, teaching young students, uh, even if they were in uh, secondary level. I am. It's and I must care about them just like my own uh, kids. So I cannot expose them to things that an an appropriate. And I when one. A debate uh, book. Uh, I uh, uh, discussed uh, the uh, uh, narcotics. Uh, yeah, it's not necessarily to, uh, but sometimes my work gets me ask us some uh, embarrassing questions. But and we should be able to uh, respond to their questions. We are educators, uh, and we need to really to so. So if, if, if they ask something, uh, and, and, uh, if they, 
if they were uh, exposed to something from uh, other culture, we cannot tell them, no, we are not allowed to talk about this thing. No, we need to, te to teach them how to deal with the different uh, 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 the topic and issues. Yes, but again, as, as a person, me, myself, and as an educator, I am uh, against uh, uh, introducing any subject that uh, contradicts our ethics. Uh, please forgive me. This is my, uh, this is my, uh, me. This is myself, Doctor Abu Hajar. It's not like I am. Uh, uh, but when you open, when you remove all constraints. Uh, and allow discussing every topics. I, uh, I don't agree with this. Our ethics and our principle, our is an Arab and Islam one. It's and it it's no it's not acceptable to because uh, uh, time uh, uh, is over. We will allow only one question, one more question. Uh, 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 the last question. Uh, b because yeah, uh, time is uh, f f has uh, is over. Maybe, maybe we need to debate anything, but from ethical point of view or ethical stand, whether that the topic of debates from the west or from uh, the east. But we need to debate it, but uh, within. Uh, 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 within keeping uh, ethics our ethics and keeping our principles i it, it's i don't see any harm of teaching the students everything but from ethical point of view from islamic point of view islamic perception thank you very much thank you ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your presence and thank you very much